Hi, this is Janet from Try It Like It Create It, and I wanted to show you this pom-pom kit that I bought on Amazon, and it makes uh, four different varieties of sizes for pom-poms. Um, the box comes with instructions on the back. Um, if you have never used one of these pom-pom makers, um, it, there is a, just a tiny bit of a learning curve, and actually, once you see me use it, it will make total sense to you, and you'll be able to um, make your own pom-poms. So I just wanted to share this with you, to show you that there are different sizes, and there are color, color, each one has a different color. I can get words to come out of my mouth tonight. I'm going to work with this version here and I want to show you that what happens here is that um, it opens up in all different ways if you can see um, flipping these open here and it also you can also pull twist it and pull it apart and so you may wonder why it does all this it, it, and it does have a reason for doing it all um, so I want to just take you through it step by step so the first thing you want to do is open up the tool like I just showed you. You're going to flip those two sides open and these two and you want to keep those together and um, pretty much parallel to each other although it's not all that important to do so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start wrapping around the piece. So I have some yarn here. I'm just going to give it a start. And my recommendation is to start on the outer end and wrap until you fill this piece here so that you can easily transition over to this side. So, um, oh, excuse me, let me work from the inside to the outside and I'll show you why in a moment. All right, so to get started, you just need to hold the tail under your thumb and then begin to wrap. And you're just going to wrap generously around this piece until you have filled it up. All right, so there you can see I have um, kind of filled this space up and I could probably do a little bit more. I'm going to stop it there for this demonstration and then what you're going to do is you're going to flip this closed. With that string on that end makes it easier to transition over to this side and do the same thing. So you want to wrap here as well. Okay, I'm going to stop it here, but just to show you, the thicker you make it, um, the more volume you're going to have to your pom-pom. So at this point, you want to cut it off and close this side down also. You can tuck your tails in here in the slits to hold them in place, and then what we're going to do is take a scissor into that channel and cut. Now, once we do that, do not open this up because it will just fall apart on you. So I'm going to go into that channel with my scissors and the smaller the scissor, the easier it works. And you can see I'm just taking little teeny snips here to work my way across. Okay, so once I am completely done on this side, you can see there's nothing left in the channel. I'm going to flip it over and do that on the other side as well.
I'm going to set that down and cut off another piece of yarn that's quite large, long. And then I'm going to slip it into that channel and pull it around to the other side. Now you want to tie a knot and you want it to be extremely, extremely tight. Okay. And then just do that again. Pull tight. So now we can use how that tool comes apart is by you pull the two sides. Um, I can open up the channels. You can start to see that it's getting puffy. And here's the other side that opens up. Okay, this is just the knot, the cords I used for the knotting. And then you're going to pull it apart. And out pops this perfectly made pom-pom. And I can cut off the extra tails here. I want to leave, okay, these are the ones I used to tie the knot and I am going to leave those. And then these were the ends from how I started and stopped. And I'm just gonna trim those off. Now, you can see that I may have a few here that I would like to trim up a little bit to give it its shape. Um, but for the most part, um, it really, it really doesn't need much of a haircut to have a perfectly made full pom-pom. And like I said, um, I didn't even fill the channel up, and so had I filled that channel up, um, I would have even a thicker pom-pom than what I have here. Um, but you can do this and change colors uh, for each side or a portion of it and um, use it to make animals, um, decorate um, anything that you've knit or crocheted with a pom-pom on top. Um, you can hang it from your rear view mirror in your car. I know that they're very popular on kids' backpacks um, and the larger size makes the really big full pom-pom. Um, so I hope this was helpful and uh, just to show you again here are the parts and it easily fits back together again. You just slide that piece back in and line up the sides and close it down and that is the pom-pom maker. Just to show you um, when I was talking about filling up the channel what I'm talking about and giving it even more yarn would be when I'm wrapping around the pieces at this channel right here this dip if you fill it all the way up to this top edge um, you will get an even fuller pom-pom than this one although this one is pretty darn full and fluffy so I hope you find that helpful I will put a link to purchase these at Amazon um, down below it will be an affiliate link and if you use it to purchase anything on Amazon I will get a small um, payment from you doing so which helps to fund my website as well as continue to do YouTube tutorials. I hope you found this helpful and useful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Give me a comment. Let me know if you've tried these out um, or if you're going to try them out and how it works for you. Um, and don't forget to subscribe so that you'll see more craft material hauls and craft tutorials.